All right, the U.S. government nearly $20 trillion in debt, but that's not stopping them from using your money for more than $200 billion of it anyway on things like gourmet gas station snacks. And it only gets worse. Here to break it down and kind of ruin your Monday uh, about the federal fumbles is the report that everyone talks about. And today's spokesman is uh, Oklahoma Senator James Langford. And here are the federal, uh, federal fumbles that I think are going to upset you. Uh, Senator, always great to see you. Let's talk about something that you, aggravates bro. you that you want to stop, the gourmet gas station food is subsidies? That's exactly right. We listed out a hundred different ways that we've got out of control uh, grants, out of control uh, regulators, uh, lack of coordination, all kinds of problems. But it starts for us with what we call gas station tofu. Uh, they, the USDA wants to have more healthy food choices for people on food stamps, what's called the SNAP program now. And so they're imposing on the convenience stores and other places to say you have to have more healthy options. So they're telling convenience stores they have to sell tofu, goat cheese, almond milk, fresh shrimp, fresh catfish. Now, in most rural America, uh, place, uh, most, most areas of rural America, you may have to drive 15 or 20 miles to be able to get to a grocery store. So people that are on SNAP or others we're, are going to get their milk and their bread and their meat from a local gas station. If they tell them no, not unless you sell tofu, which is clearly not going to break even for these stations, uh, they're just not going to provide it at all. Right. And those folks are going to have no option. I usually go for a power bar. That's what I uh, that's what I always count on. What about this very important medieval smells? You have a uh, look at the 85 day exhibition of a sense of beauty where we look at medieval art and smells. That's exactly right. And th th this is not just a museum study. This is three different agencies that all combine their money to be able to do an exhibit on medieval art and smells uh, so that people can get a chance to go and experience this. If one agency chose to do that, I can understand if three agencies are getting together and putting together federal dollars, it really raises our ire to say, why are we doing it? Three agencies combining money to be able to do an exhibit on me medieval smells. About $500,000. Now, the other has glacial identity studies, which sounds as ridiculous as you would think and don't text and chew motivational text so that's, that's how correct. we're supposed to be motivated now at cost of five hundred thousand dollars so half a million dollars to text people in, in multiple rural areas to tell them they shouldn't chew tobacco or a study that was multi thousands of dollars to be able to look at glaciers from a feminist worldview and to see if the glaciers and the man ice glacier relationship so the whole book has these things like you have the costly coin toss for $50,000. Senator, what can we do to stop it? When are we going to start how to stop laughing at this and start doing something about it? Well, this book every year is our to-do list for our staff. So when we walk through this, we see the things in doing our own investigation. We expose them. their are areas that we think need additional oversight, need additional media attention, right. need an additional administrative uh, positions. We've taken care of some of them last year. We have in the back of our book what we call the touchdown areas, fumbles at the beginning, touchdowns at the end, gotcha. where we actually identify areas we saw last year, we fixed during the course of the year, and there's many more to go. He's one of the most productive senators in, uh, in Washington. Senator James Langford, thanks so much. Thank you.